Oh, hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome. It's Friday. Should I say Friday? Thank goodness. Oh, my gosh. What a week. <laughs> it's been a very long week. Let me just wash my hands real quick. Okay. Yeah, you just touched uh, dog treats, so. Ow. I know, right? No, it's, not, it's probably not that bad. I know, but I don't like having it on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. <sighs> I hope everybody had a great week and are ready for a fun weekend, hopefully, of staying inside. <laughs> We're ready to, or, I mean, like, not going, I mean, you can go outside, but. Yeah. Socially distance. Masks. Wear masks. But anyway, um, we are getting ready to make something delicious today. This is a much proclaimed really? amazing recipe. Yeah, it's really, really good. Granny loves this recipe. If you guys know, my really? mother is probably the worst food critic, mm. worst food critic of mine besides Kristen. I was going to say Kristen. <laughs> 100% Kristen. I don't know. Kristen is very like, can I come over for dinner when she hears what we're having? Yeah, but she will tell you what she thinks. If face. it's bad? Yeah. Well, I guess she learned that from her father. That is not like that. <laughs> Kristen is on her own level. Really? Yeah, my mother also calls me russet and tree trunk legs. She How's said, everybody doing today? You have the biggest legs I've ever seen on a vegetarian. <laughs> How's everybody's Friday going so far? <laughs> big tops. We have the original big top right here. Oh, I was like, what is that referring to? <laughs> um, yeah, whenever I cut up a pineapple, when you cut off the top, it looks like it's like the cutest little fascinator. I know, right? Mm -hmm. It would make such a nice little hat. When I was a kid, I tried to grow a pineapple from the top because I heard you could do that, but it didn't work out too good in New York. Oh, yeah. you got to be more like tropical. More in a tropical area. Although they do, and they are currently, selling... <laughs> Lulu! But uh, Sean just petted Lucy, and it was so cute. Can you, like, come over here and stop? Um, <laughs> if I have to. They're currently selling miniature pineapple plants at oh, Sam's Club. That's so cute. The pineapples are this big, literally. Will that survive in New York, though? Maybe indoors, but I don't think it would ever get to the size where you could eat it. Oh. We had one. Granny had bought it for me a long time oh, ago really? at Price Chopper, and I had it for years and years. I had it, must have had it for at least six or seven years, and I finally um, killed it. Oh. I kind of want one because, like, I have I got that sago palm because it reminds me of pineapple. pineapple and I like that. Or palm tree. Yeah. It's twelve dollars at uh, Sam's Club. Well, I might if you're interested, we'll see. they have some very healthy ones at um, Fish Kill. Mm -hmm. They didn't have them in Milton. Lily. Hi there. Oh, you guys have to see Lucy right now. Oh, Lucy. Lucy. Good girl. Lucy, you're looking so fresh. Hi, baby girl. Aw, she's ready to get the show on the road. I'm Bowie so is drinking. I gotta go get a drink. Bowie. Are they almost out of water? It sounds like it. Are you gonna take care of that? Yes, I am. Okay. They hit pan on the Whoa. water. Mm. <laughs> Doug says, on the party, in a lot of pain, hoping for a better day tomorrow. Oh, no, are you all right? Oh, what's wrong, Doug? Um, but seeing you two makes my day and makes me feel better after barely any sleep last night. Oh. No. Oh, it's awful. I hope you're going to feel better, Doug. Your comments oh, always brighten my day. Yeah. Can we do a poolside slash outdoor cooking sesh next time? Um. Hanley. That's a big ask. <laughs> we don't have any cooking stuff out there. So yeah. You know, we, we send us a solar oven. We don't have, like, one of those nice outdoor kitchen setups, so... We don't even have a grill anymore. Yeah, we don't have a grill, so... Probably wouldn't be very interesting. <laughs> you know what? Just as we're about to start making food, my nose is starting to run. <laughs> Isn't uh, it always the way? 
I feel like Hanley just asked if we can have class outside. I think Hanley just <laughs> wants to see you in your bathing suit. What? No. Um, Louis said, just got off a Zoom meeting. I'm getting sick of them. Yeah. I feel for you. That must be really, really annoying. annoying. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't belong in here. Yeah, mom's being silly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Louie went out to eat outside for the first time yesterday. It felt good to get out. Um, I trust oh, wow. that this restaurant is clean. I wouldn't go out to eat just anywhere and definitely not inside. That's good that you were able to go out. I, I feel like I'm still scared, but, um, that reminds me of something my mother did once. What? We were going to have a party, a family party, mm -hmm. and we needed to have it at like a restaurant because it was like for an occasion. So my mother, having no filter whatsoever, well, we know that. calls up restaurants, asking them if they're nice and if they have roaches. Who's gonna say yes? <laughs> Who's gonna say no and yes? Oh, Granny. Did anyone say, no, we're not nice and yes, we have roaches? I think they hung up on us. I mean, I can't really blame them, right? So, yeah, my mom, uh, critical. <laughs> critical, no filter, no self-awareness. Mm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, Louis, where, what kind of food did you have? We did ride our bikes today. It was me and Dad today. It's like you had a nice time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The weather looked really nice for bike riding. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was nice, too. Yeah, it was. I felt stronger, and I got the report. I got the bike report from Daddy that uh, it was easier. Yeah, I thought both of you guys up. were. Yeah, you're really improving a lot. Um, Doug says, "Had a toothache last night, making my day very crappy." Oh no! Is your dentist like open yet? Um, I don't know what the situation is with dentists at this point. I don't know, but I feel like I'm gonna need some dental attention soon. Yeah. I probably need to, but... I have some teeth that I feel like are falling apart, and I oh, shouldn't no. even said that because now I've put it out there into the universe. Oh. Are we going to have a hot girl summer? I mean, last year was hot girl summer, right? I feel like this year is... Hot girl? Don't you remember? Everyone was like, <laughs> hashtag hot girl summer. That was probably before you were really looking at Instagram and stuff. It was like a whole thing. But, um, I feel like this is not hot girl summer. This is... Stay inside. Is it summer. warm diarrhea summer? I don't know. Um, Might be. Hashtag lukewarm diarrhea. Yeah, Texas and Florida. I just saw that they closed their bars, which sure not been open in the first place, I feel like. Um, went to the barber shop today. Oh, you got your summer buzz you had cut. Your nice. ears lowered? <laughs> Sean, no, Sean doesn't go biking. He doesn't like it. Um, he used I don't to have know a that trike. he couldn't even ride like Well, he used you know. to have a big tricycle, but he wasn't really into it, so we gave it to somebody else. When he was, was. younger, also, we had that uh, half bike that attaches to the back of a regular bike. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a seat with a wheel. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a flag. Sean is an indoor cat. Just like Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you went out for the best breakfast in town, French toast. Ooh. Very nice. Um, I had some delicious vegan French toast that I made once. And mm. It was so good. I never made it again. Cause it oh, was, was it like for that brunch that one time? Yes. It was very good. Thank you. No one ate it except for one person besides us. Yeah, well. That's okay, because that was the only thing we could have eaten at the brunch anyway. Yeah. Let's uh, get this party going. Yes. Let's get cooking, and we will catch up on the chat. When okay. Can. You can um, not even talk about me while I'm working. Okay. <laughs> and just chat. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you didn't get it from the title, <laughs> what we're having today is a delicious puff pastry-based cookie pastry uh, that is filled with peanut butter and chocolate chips. Yum. And it's very fancy. It's kind of like... Ooh, I just had a thought. What? This would be so good with like a hazelnut spread. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, I can't have yeah, that. Yeah, you can't have that anymore. I forgot. Never mind. 
This would be also really good with like some apple pie filling mm. or some cherry pie filling or you could probably even that. use like preserves or something like that in there. If you like fruit flavored, you could also do this as a savory. You could put cheese uh, in there instead of peanut butter. You know, like um, shredded cheese, roll it up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cheese biscuits. Right? What about with some pesto? Yum. Pesto would be amazing. In fact, I think I might have seen Lauren Toyota do something similar. similar oh, really? With pesto and cheese. Vegan cheese, of course. All right, so we have our parchment paper. Let me get the rest of my ingredients. I just washed my hands, so I'm all set there. I'm cleanly. <laughs> Do you have roaches? I do. <laughs> no, Are you actually, nice? I, we, in the almost <laughs> 37 years. Is it 37 this year? In the almost 37 years that we've been married, we have never had one roach in any of the apartments or houses that we've Now lived. there's going to be Not roaches because you said that. Not one. Did you know that? Well, you just said it, so. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> um, let's see. C Band 97 is having a hard time finding a bike to purchase. It's a big deal, it right? Is a big so deal. you really don't want to do it willy nilly. You got to put in some research. I remember researching for a while before I landed on the bike that I wanted to get. Yeah, bikes could oh, be yeah. hard to find right now because I'm sure a lot more people are going to be using them for transportation. Yeah. So, I feel for you. Are you ready? No. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hello, TG. Welcome. Yeah, staycation summer is more like it. Hashtag lukewarm diarrhea. <laughs> I knew the blah, 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 blah. I knew the lukewarm diarrhea would be a hit. Yeah. Um, hello Scott. Yeah, Doug says my mom's dental office is open. Problem is she's off for two weeks, but we're getting it under control. I hope do you have at least some like um oil of clove? Like something or, you can put on uh, the tooth? Ambisol or what's uh, that stuff that Granny used? I can't remember. Is it like Dentec called. something or something? Something yeah. Like sometimes there's something that you can put on there for pain relief at least to yeah. hold you over. Um, we're ready to get back to it? Okay. Alright, so I purchased this, um... <laughs> Puff can't pastry! Be cool. <laughs> can't be cool and do the glasses thing. From, uh, Pepperidge Farm, because what, honey? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Yes, Pepperidge Farm remembers. So, oh wow, they actually have like a little thing on the back with spinach and cheese. This is what? very similar to what we're making, and I didn't even see that on there. Wait, I thought we were making dessert. We are. Oh. But it's the little pinwheels. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you get two sheets in here, so we're going to do this twice. Oh, it's so convenient. I remember my dad used to make this from scratch. It took all day. Yeah. You had to uh, put the butter in there and then you uh, roll it out and then you fold it and then you turn it and then you... All day long. Son. <laughs> Can you keep it down a little bit in there, bud? Uh, this is a little lukewarm diarrhea right now. Oh. Uh-oh, Louis says the picture's blurry. Oh, no! I'm sorry. And his brother turned 37 today. Happy birthday to Happy your brother. Happy birthday. Yeah, Laura, I hope we didn't jinx ourselves with the cockroach thing. <laughs> okay, so, like, let's see what's going on here. You know, I was thinking about this while lying in bed the other day, and I thought... The one we did was really good. Mm-hmm. But, but you're going to change it? A little bit. Just not so much, um, Ew. sorry, <laughs> what I'm putting in it. I'm not going to roll it out as much. I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit. 
and I'm not going to roll it uh, tight. Okay. It's going to be a real loose split. <laughs> so that's going to give the puff pastry more room to expand. If I feel like I'm thinking, wow, if you roll it up too tightly, it's got no room to go. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, somebody going to the Oscars in some tight ass Sphinx. There's no room to go anywhere. So let's just That's keep quite it an casual. Analogy. <laughs> you, oh you can't really eat at the Oscars if you got some tight ass Sphinx on because. Well, that's why they all go out for like fast food after. Yeah, yeah. And the trick, don't use too much peanut butter because then it's going to be too, like, less is more with the peanut butter. You can use a shit ton of chocolate chips, but the peanut butter, keep it to a minimum. I have my offset spatula here that I waited for years and years to get. Mm -hmm. Having a baker dad, I never had my own offset spatula, and now I do. So nice. You know how um, everybody was always on Britta from Drag Race for saying, like, oh, I'm from New York, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Your Britta thing is, my dad was a baker. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was. <laughs> I know, but it's just funny. Not my dad's a custodian? No, that's different. No. This offset spatula makes all the difference in the world when you want a really thin coat of like icing or something if you're doing a crumb coat it makes a big difference kids and try and get it even get a tissue for your runny nose Ugh. I'm sorry you're I, disgusting I know <laughs> I did take a um, antihistamine decongestant too and it's just it's just one of those days it's brutal make sure you get it uh, everywhere except for this Two inch lip over here. Sean, what do you think? Does this look delicious? All right. Ready to move on. Let me just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um is this cooking sesh? Wait, okay, wait, 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 I missed some stuff. Yes, Origel, that's what I was trying to think Origel, of. Thank you, yeah. Scott. Uh, Doug said on a bright note, my girlfriend has a surprise for me tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh I hope it's not <laughs> a surprise. Like what? Like, we're having a baby. Oh, God. Unless you want Unless one. Unless you want one. <laughs> <laughs> Will this cooking sesh end up looking more lukewarm or more diarrhea? Place your bets. It's it might be, be diarrhea. Some hot urine. Oh. So now we're going to do some vegan chocolate chips. Ooh. This is quite a collection in here. We've got some mini chips. We've got some regular chips. We might even have some of those paillettes in here that we had gotten that time at um, Target. Mm -hmm. And they were marked down good. Show off the fancy roller when you get a chance. Oh, this? Yeah, where'd you get that? This is a Pampered Chef item. Uh, this is the wooden version. When I first started with Pampered Chef, this was the one that they had. And then they revised the product and they made a plastic one, which I also have, which is probably buried behind one of the drawers. But it's much less stick. Non, it's much more non-stick than this one. Sometimes if you don't use flour mm. with this one, it could stick. I really love that one though. Yeah, but the good thing about this one is there's one that's a little bit uh, con, Vex. Okay. And this is good for getting in like pie dishes and stuff like that because it's super small. Like this one you can't really get into the, you know, you can only go so far, but this one you can really get into that curve. So I highly recommend this. I highly recommend all of the one-handed things. Mm -hmm. Like that strainer that I have. Where you at? Oh what? no, avalanche. I can't find it right now. I think everything's just going to fall out of there. But you guys have seen me use it a million times. It's the one-handed, it looks like a lacrosse uh, Oh chopstick. yeah, lacrosse net. Yeah. Highly recommend it because everything is difficult <laughs> in the kitchen. You need three hands for everything. So if you could make a two-handed job into a one-handed job, you've got that extra hand to do something else.
Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend the one-handed tools. All right, so now we're gonna roll this up, not as tight. This is gonna be a sloppy. So I think I made the mistake of making it too tight. Last before. time, yeah. Hey, bud. Hey. Yay! All right. Now I'm gonna take a shoppity knife. <laughs> I'm really. Oh not boy. <laughs> We're gonna even make this sharper. My dad, <laughs> my dad used to have a seal, and he used to be like, psh, 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 psh. he tried to teach me a million times how to do it, and I could never do it. But this works just as good as his seal. So we're just gonna. Cut these like an inch, inch and a half. This is so exciting. You guys have no idea. Like, this and is so simple, but it's so delicious. And it's so fancy looking. Mm -hmm. People will be impressed when they see this. They're going to be like, wow, that looks so fancy. Did you go to the bakery? Nope. Nope, we didn't. And what did you preset your oven to? 375. Okay. You just get these all on the cookie sheet. Yeah, so mom just made these for the first time last weekend for, right, um, for Father's Day. Day. And, Lulu! and um, she was just like, you know what, I'm going to like mess around with this and see if it's good. So then we tried them and we we're like, holy crap. Well, and she had to make more that day to bring yeah. the grannies because they were just so good. I was going to make like cinnamon rolls and I was like, oh, I don't have time to make the dough and everything, but I had this hanging around. So I said, well, gee, this is kind of like a rolled up mm -hmm. cinnamon roll, but much, much easier. Were you inspired by um, dad and I making those tarts? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did a great job on that. Oh, thanks. If you wanted to be super fancy, too, you could probably even make it look like a rose. You know, like these kind of look mm -hmm. like flowers. Mm -hmm. I want to leave enough room in between so that these have some... They can expand a bit. Yeah, so they can bust out of their Sphinx. Oh, they're going to be so good. I, I just smell the peanut butter, and it's just... Yes. We'll save this one for the second sheet. I almost feel like maybe the second sheet we should try like apple or something. Try something different. Yeah. Let's try apple maybe. Like apple what? Just apple. Like apple cinnamon? An apple apple? An or like apple, apple butter? No, an actual apple. Okay. If you want. But I'm afraid like I would pre-cook the apple in the microwave and I think it's going to mess up the stream if I do that. So I don't <laughs> think I should do that. Let's do something else. Somebody suggested um, in the comments the other day like a peanut butter and jelly. Oh, we can do that. Which just sounds amazing. We can do that. Well, then let's put mm -hmm. these chocolates away, so, daughter, so that we won't be tempted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might have been Daniel, but I don't want to... You don't want to say? If it was somebody else, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> We For some reason, I feel names. like it was Daniel. We have a lot of names to think about, guys. We've yeah. been the three channels and doing this how many years? Many. Twelve? Um, a lot, yeah. Are you doing something right now? Uh, no. Okay. Um, Andrew said, my girlfriend got mad at me. I used that roller as a back massager. I had no idea it was for cooking. I'm a typical guy. That's hilarious. <laughs> I like that. Mom should be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> not that funny. Though. Actually, I feel like she's funnier, like, in the moment. Like, I don't know if stand-up would be her gig. Like, she, you're, like, situationally funny, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, there's some people that are just, like, funny people, but then there's also people that are good at stand-up, which I feel like is, like, an entirely different skill. Stand-up, I would just cry my eyes out, I feel like. Yeah, I don't know if stand-up is the right uh, lane for you, the right avenue. Yeah. I mean, one heckler, I would just be, I would just pee my pants on the really? stage. Really? I don't think so. Really Pixie caught up on all the Below Deck series. Dang! Yeah. You must have been busy. We, we were just, just watching. Just before, June, June, Hannah. We were watching an old season of uh, Med this morning, yeah. just for a few minutes. Brought back some good memories. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Even though that's not up to temp yet, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw it in. 
Why do you do that? <laughs> All right, so um, I guess we're gonna do um, a peanut butter and jelly one too. Delish. All right, so I can, you know what? I can use uh, this. I'll cut it to fit. This kind of jelly you got, baby girl. I think we have some. Oh, Lucy has to go out. Hang on. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. <laughs> Um, oh, Allison's going to be looking for some puff pastry. It is awesome, so I hope you find some, because you can do so much with it. No, uh, my grandpa did not have his own bakery. No. He worked on a lot of ships, and he made us a lot of delicious food. <laughs> he actually, after he got out of school, did his apprenticeship at the Essex House in uh, Manhattan. Everybody's loving the roller. It is really, I gotta say, I love that roller too. You know what? I love all of the Pampered Chef products that we bought over the years, and especially the ones that I was hawking when I was mm -hmm. um, a Pampered Chef consultant. I love the apple peeler we got. That apple peeler is hot. Love it. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, we're getting a little too soft here. Mm, it is hot today. We need a little pastry Viagra, but I can't fit this. Did you see that face? <laughs> what do you prefer, Cialis? <laughs> too much? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> see, I'm not gonna agitate it too much. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tooltips with Tommy, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, the PB&J one I'm really excited to try. And Louis says, Janet, how could you not like hecklers? Maddie heckles you every day. I'm different. <laughs> Quite different. I heckle with love. <laughs> yes, Granny. If you say so. I have to tell you, I'm in love with this offset spatula. Have I, I mentioned I feel that? like a lot of people watching this are, too. Scott says, just ordered a Janet roller and an offset spatula. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Can we get some commission on that? Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, hey, Mary doing, Patricia. If you're doing a cake, this is the most beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. You put it on one of those turntables, and you just... Yeah. Another trick for the offset spatula, if you're doing a uh, cake, the icing on the top, keep the spatula in one spot and just rotate the cake uh -huh. to make those nice uh, things on the top of the cake. You know, the- from, um, Like from that cupcake, bleh, cupcake video we were watching? What no, this was from a, a different video that I saw about how to do the uh, decoration on the top of a cake. To we get... got that fancy cookbook. We gotta check I that know. out. I know. And it's gluten-free, which is very exciting because I really, despite not having to be gluten-free anymore, mm -hmm. I really do enjoy the gluten-free uh, baking. Yeah. Like that the, one red velvet the, recipe is really good. The red velvet's really good, and the strawberry cupcakes that we made a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. we were just dreaming about them uh, yesterday. They taste, it's like a dupe for Hostess uh, coffee cakes. Yeah. It's just so good. Very, very good. Ooh, puff pastry is a top for chicken pot pie. That sounds delicious. Yes. Mm. Oh, Janet, you look beautiful today. Oh, thank you. I agree. I just did two <laughs> minutes on my hair with the straightener. Probably not enough. It's a little Where's bit humid circus? today. Where's the circus? Where's the circus? It's right here, boy. <laughs> oh, it's a circus, all right. It's a family circus. Remember that cartoon? Uh, yes. You do? Is that the one in the circle? Yeah, maybe. Wasn't it always like a circle panel? Yeah. Yeah, wasn't it? It was always like one thing, wasn't it? One panel? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Daddy and I were just talking about cartoons that we used to read when uh, we were kids. Uh huh. The other day. And, hey, Master. Uh, what? What were your faves? Um, Peanuts, of course. Of course. I never got Doonesbury. I guess I was too young. Um, they had Dick Tracy. Mm -hmm. They had, um... Oh, this looks like it's gonna be so good. I know, right? 
Whoever suggested the peanut butter and jelly, spot on. I, I think do. Daniel, but again, I'm not 100% sure on that. Somebody's going to have to lick this. <laughs> Shanti. Be quick about it. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Think. What does it taste like? Peanut butter and jelly. All yeah. right. I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of this jelly because it's kind of like. Oh. Okay. <laughs> jelly fish. Peanut butter and jelly fish. Yes, the hottest club is jelly fish. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Watch this. What do you got for us? I thought you were about to cut no. the pastry with that. I was like, wait, what? No. It like looks blurry now for some reason. Oh, there we go. A little peanut butter on there. Mm. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, you used a roller like that when you built your house without a clay? Pixie, your work is phenomenal. Yeah. I just want you to know that again. We are in awe of the piece that you sent us. Yes. Simba. Beautiful. Simba's in Africa. Have we tried the TikTok peanut butter challenge where you spin the bottle and all the peanut butter goes to the top? No. Is that for what? real? We'll have to look into that. And then what? I don't know. Do you eat it? <laughs> Just DM'd you the face you're looking for. <laughs> Wait, Louie, is that when I turn the camera off? Oh my god. The, I don't know uh, if I want to see that. <laughs> the avocado chocolate cake. I don't think we made that, right? I'm allergic to avocado. Yeah, mom can't really eat avocado, but I'd be interested to try that. There's also an avocado um, chocolate mousse floating around. Mm -hmm. Mary Patricia asked, oh wait, no, she said, Mary, Alice, and Dennis keep looking for their colorings on your cabinets. Okay, the thing with that is, remember Sean tore them? We had no tape, so I just bought the tape. We're uh, gonna fix them the up. Store. Yes. And then they will be displayed. They will be up on the weekend update. Yes, thank you so thank much. Thank you so for much, Mary them. Alice and Dennis. You guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Scott says, My first baked item was Snickerdoodles. Came out great. Probably couldn't do it again to save my life. What? I'm sure you could. You definitely could. Snickerdoodles. They are delicious. They are delicious. I think one of the first uh, vegan ice creams I tried was Snickerdoodle. Mm. Oh, Summer's here. Hello, hello. She Summer. Just home. Wait, she just got home, went to lunch with her dad. That's awesome. Oh, that's nice. Hope you guys had a good time. Did you eat inside or outside? Let's see. No, no, no. Hanley did the TikTok hack of doing an egg sandwich made in one pan. So Ooh. stupid. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. Um, I forgot how long those are gonna be in. Oh boy. Laura so, said you could use the pizza cutter to cut that. I think it might um, smush it too much. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it would. Yeah. Like it would compress it. Yeah. A lot of people use dental floss. Oh, yeah. To do that, mm -hmm. like, um, when you make cinnamon rolls, they use the dental floss, and it supposedly cuts. Fine. But you'd have to Fine. make sure that your dental floss Fine. wasn't mint flavored. But, gross. Unless you're making some sort of mint chocolate something dessert. Are you making lamb chops with mint? No. Mint jelly? <laughs> All right. Um, so we're just chilling now, right? Yeah, I'm just going to check on this. <laughs> Oh my, already amazing. Shall we take a look? Sure, you could take a look. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I meant to flip that around. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, those definitely puffed up more than last time. Yeah. Beautiful. I think the uh, school of less Don't norm. Don't roll it as yeah. tightly. Yeah. Okay. And just close see. the screen. I don't want any that flying in. Oh, it was a screenshot from the live show. I think I know which one you're talking about, Louie. 
She, he said, pretty sure it's the best face you've ever made on video. <laughs> I think that, if I remember correctly, I was horrified about, mm -hmm. was it like a porn name you or something like, that you made for dad? I don't know. <laughs> um, I did. Something like that, I don't know. Are we going to have the ceremony for the fox pot holder? Oh, it's guess. got a hole in it. And this is right where you pick stuff up. Not ideal stuff. for a pot holder. Thank you for, for many it. years of service. Thank you, Foxy. We appreciate it. Sean, uh, Sean touch the fox. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Natasha, thank you so much for the seeds. Yes, thank you, Natasha. We are Natasha. very excited. Thank you, Catherine B., for the many years of service yes, thank that you, this Catherine. pot holder gave us. But I'm afraid we're going to have to send it to the big oven in the sky. Oh. <laughs> um, I think so for the seeds. We're planning on planting the bok choy and where are we going to do the lettuce and the lettuce this year? Because we, we still have a little bit of space that we yeah. can make it work. There's there's two lettuce, so we're going to still have some for next uh, summer, so yeah. spring slash summer. Yeah, we're going to save some of the, the other ones for next year, but yeah, we got to get that bok choy going. Oh my God, that bok Thank you so much, Natasha. Thank you so much. That is like my dream. Mm -hmm. I was uh, My sister actually has bok choy that she grows. And, but she's in California. I know. I wish she could send us some. Mm -hmm. But um, I've always wanted to do bok choy, and I've always wanted to do celery. And I'm a little afraid on the celery, though. But the bok choy, maybe that's doable. I hope so. You know what I love so much about bok choy? It has the slightest hint of horseradish. Yes, it. I noticed that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Laura says... She was thinking because the pizza cutter is so sharp, but not much blade. It makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, am I excited for baseball? Here's my thing. <laughs> I miss baseball so much, and I'm really bummed out that it's not, you know, the same this year. So I'm excited to watch baseball, but I'm also kind of like, should they really be doing this? Like, is it safe? I, know. I I would hate to see, you know, players or other people out. who are going to be working on this or their family members. I would hate to see people get sick because of it. So, I don't know. Like, I miss it a lot, but I would be okay if they were like, you know what, we're going to have to just, like, skip this season. I would understand, Why? but, yeah, I just hope it's going to be safe. For everybody, I think. Ooh, look at that! Slip the other one in. Beautiful. So we'll let that cool for a bit before we try it. Louis, these pie holders, amazing. Yes. The uh, silicon on this side, perfect. Good grip and good uh, heat protection too. It has the uh, <laughs> yeah. fuzzies on the inside. Oh, very nice. Thank pie you, pie. Louis. <laughs> MTV is doing Flashback Friday all day today, showing old music videos and programming. This morning was a three-hour block of videos popular during TRL's era. Oh, oh. that's right. Isn't uh, Real World New York on right Yeah, Hanley. I can't believe we were able to pull you away for a while. You must be taping it. <laughs> uh, Sumner says, we actually have to eat inside here in Virginia. Wow. You, have, you wear masks in public unless eating, exercising, or you have a condition, bless you, that prevents you from wearing one. Oh, okay. I hope you guys are staying safe. They did a two-hour block of Yo! MTV Raps videos that had a better selection. Oh, okay. I guess you weren't a big fan of TRL. I wasn't. I remember coming home from school and that being on. Kristen's friend's father worked on TRL. Right. As a sound engineer. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jamie. Welcome to the show. Oh, my God. Look at that. At. Beautiful. Oh my god. It smells so good. Look at how good this one is. Oh. Yeah, it's they're a, they're a lot puffier than lot last puffier. time. A lot puffier. Man, because before when you made them and they were tiny, I was like, I can eat two. <laughs> but now I don't know if I'm going to say But now the same it's thing. just air. I know, but now I don't know. It's just air. It's that mental thing, though. Oh. Uh, what is Beetlejuice? Uh, the Netherworld. 
Viacom channels made their way to YouTube TV. Oh, they did? Really? So we have MTV and like VH1 and all that now? I'm sure we don't have like the full thing, but we have like, you can watch like shows. What do you mean? Like it's not like a broadcast. Oh, really? I don't thing. know. We'll, we'll have to look into it. Shows. We'll have to look into it. Um. Oh, you think MLB should have taken this year off? I feel like I agree. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Louie. Thank you again for the, um, the, pot holders, the oven mitt pot holders. Pot holders. Sean. I don't see how they're going to have football this year. Because baseball they can get, at least get away with because they're not really in close contact for the most part. Yeah. But football, I don't, I don't see how it's going to work. Are they going to be sitting six feet apart in the dugout? I don't know. Are you not allowed to tackle people in football? Like, how, like, how's it gonna work? I don't, not to mention all the people that would be working. To I don't understand. Are they leaving their family for, or are they gonna be going home I to their family? Don't and know. I don't know how they're gonna prevent. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure all the logistics of it, but yeah. How are they gonna do hot tub time together? <laughs> I don't know. What's up, bud? Hello, Kitty. I gotta give the dog more water. Yeah, they're thirsty. It's very, it's hot for them. Yeah, it's hot for everyone. <laughs> but especially them. But he says he's wearing a he's wearing a fur coat. Old time fraternity brother uh, beaver coat from uh, you know carrying the, the Roaring Twenties. Oh, I don't know that reference. <laughs> um, sure you do. 1999 and 2000 GMAs. Bless you. We'll air later. And oh, you have it set on your DVR. Nice. Their YouTube is doing a 24 hour live stream of flashback favorite videos. Oh, Hanley, it looks like your weekend is just like chock full of MTV activities. Chloe, come here, baby. If they start showing old episodes of like me, I'll watch oh, we're that. Because I love that show. Chloe! Well, what was the other one that we used to watch? True Life. True Life. Yeah. True Life was pretty awesome, too. Yeah. Do you, uh, I would kill to see a True Life I'm in a cult. Or I'm a cult. Did they have that one? Yeah. Let's see it again. Unicol. The Unicult. Good times. My all-time favorite maid, though, was the model one. The model one. I don't remember. She was a young, like, 17-year-old girl, and she wanted to become a model, and I can't remember who the, you should um, come on. I can't remember who the, uh, model coach, the coach was. Yeah, but he was fantastic. And, uh, he got her signed with an agency. Yeah, it was a good show. It was a really good show. One of the ones that really sticks out in my mind was the son of the writer of Fancy Town. Yes. <laughs> he wanted to be a rapper. It was just a lot of fun. And didn't you have to do like one of those rap battles? Niles, the blizzard is coming. Yeah, it was yeah. a good time. Yeah, he had to spit some rhymes mm -hmm. at, at a uh, like rhyme off or rap off. Yeah. In like a basement somewhere. I don't remember where it was, but it was crazy. It was good though. Yeah, Love it was that a good show. one. Remember the guy who wanted to be the cheerleader? Cheerleader. V. Got <laughs> No. <laughs> I thought it was like V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. No, I thought it was V-dot-V-I, curl the C-T-O-R-Y. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that was fun. Good I like that one. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, I'm so jealous. I want to go swimming. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. <laughs> hi. Ooh, this man is hot, literally. <laughs> oh. What is this, a mom's what sandwich? What is this, Vogel checks? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Minnie! Will you be tasting oh. a pastry? Uh, is that how you in here? I'm not very hungry right Bowie, now. Bowie, loud! I thought you were going to grab the whole plate after you said you were hungry. No. I'm not very hungry, just have four or five. Everyone's saying hello. hello. Julie says, I had a package that came from Las Vegas to California that was sliced the exact same way Hanley's was. And um, it had, oh my god, it had a hundred dollar bill that was sliced too, but still inside wow. the cake up envelope. Weird. That's crazy. Are you ready? I guess. Are they cool enough? I 
thing? I haven't had lunch yet. This feels oh. wrong. Yeah. I think you can handle it. Oh, it's super like oh, fluffy. Right. Yeah. There you go. Stop. Quiet. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can hear that crispy crunch. Chloe! Oh. I think they only get crispier as they cool off. This feels way butterier than last time. Really? Mm -hmm. Aestheticians. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, like uh All right, we're getting answers here. Okay. Uh nope. We got a hand raise. Charlie says I have napkins out all day. Scott says only for company. So we got some mixed uh answers here. Right. Growing up, we always had napkins on mm -hmm. the table. And now when we go to Granny's, we get, we get cloth napkins usually, but since she, she hasn't, hasn't used those do, in a long time, she hasn't used them in a while, but we would always, for Sunday dinner, have cloth napkins, mm -hmm. which I thought were a real pain in the ass, <laughs> but, ooh, handmade, we will definitely have to check out Pluto TV. Yeah. One more thing for my mother to hold over my head. <laughs> Louie says, I've never regretted putting the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Screenshot that. Yeah. <laughs> Scott says, I've been addicted to coffee since quarantine, so I'm going to take a stab at tiramisu this weekend. Ooh, Hope you enjoy you, it. You're going to love it. Are you doing the one that we did on the live show? Because that one, I have to say, is it's pretty phenomenal. Good. Pretty good. I think, did we do an actual recipe and then we did one on the no, live show? No. It was an experiment. The one on the live show? Yeah. And it came out really good. It was really good. The um the cake for that one, delicious. Mm. Well, the cake was from Gads, right? I changed it. A oh, little you bit. changed it. Okay, I changed it a little bit. Well, back. <laughs> Those are almost ready to come out. Okay. I'm gonna have to fan them. Okay. So that they're edible. Mhm. Mm and not burnable. I can't wait to eat lunch. I'm having pizza yeah. leftovers and a beautiful salad. Nice. Mm -hmm. You know, there's also um, potato salad left over. Oh, jeez. We got a lot of good stuff waiting. Yeah. You ate that last corn already, right? From when? The other day. From the first? Yeah. Yes. Does anybody know if there's a corn shortage? <laughs> I don't know. It's been really difficult to buy corn around here. Mm -hmm. I don't think this recipe is going to be in this, our first cookbook, but <laughs> maybe I mean, in a future one. It's not there's not I, a ton to it. So it's it's kind of um it's kinda of like a no brainer ish kind yeah, of Yeah, I don't know if this is like not to say it's not worthy of being in the cookbook, but it's just too easy. Yeah, I don't know. 
Okay, a lot of people are saying they do paper towels instead of napkins. Okay, good. So then I don't feel so bad. Mm -hmm. Because I thought, like, ugh, am I some sort of a uh, urchin, street urchin? Nah. That I don't use napkins? Mm -hmm. But would it be wrong to expect company coming over to use paper towels? That would be too much, right? We used to do that all the time. For, for company? No. Yes, we have! If we were having a party or something, we would ha I would buy napkins. I remember having people... Okay, maybe not a party. Yeah. But, like, Kristen's boyfriend and stuff would come over and we would just use paper towels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, oh, you have towels that you use for napkins. Everyone has their own towel out all day. That's good. Oh, wow. Is Hanley male or female? Is that rude to ask? Oh. Hanley is male. <laughs> um, sometimes I don't know. Right from from his screen. Yeah, name. like who you guys are, and mm. then I don't want to like ask because I don't know if I should or not. But these are sometimes even I don't know. Yeah, those look nice. Let's uh, take a look. Take a look. It's in a book. Yeah. It's peanut butter puff pastry. Now that's nice. Very nice. Ooh, Bowie, what do you think? It says, I think they look amazing, but I can't eat them. Yeah, you can't have that, baby That will give me the cold diarrhea. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag lukewarm diarrhea. No. Lukewarm dog diarrhea. You know, like when you... You switch your dog's dog food too fast? Mm. Hashtag lukewarm diarrhea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come for the recipes, stay for the... Uh... Charm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's pick out two nice... Or are we just going to split one? I'm just taking a bite of, of that one. Alright, so I'll pick out a nice one. Okay. Uh, Mom has tried the whipped coffee. I, you were really you good. A little bit underwhelmed though. No, I liked it. She didn't drink it. Come on, I don't drink me. sugar in my coffee, so. Yeah, and she didn't drink it as just the whipped coffee. I don't know if you guys saw the video when she did that, but she ended up putting a little bit in her regular coffee. As like a topping. Yeah, as like a little dollop, dollop thing. Um. So yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Peanut butter and jelly one. Yeah. Hello, Morris. How are you? Are you staying up till 9 a.m.? Oh my, oh my god. 9 a.m. TT? I mean, Texas time? CT? Texas time? Isn't Texas Central? It is. Okay. The envelope was definitely ripped open by the raccoon USPS and it <laughs> looked like it was taped up by a raccoon. Yeah. Hands. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes, Haley is very nice and generous. Foxy Loxy says, have a bite. Have a bite. Why, you want me to burn myself? No. Why, you wanted me to burn myself? No. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> oh, no. But how does it taste? Amazing. Which one do you prefer? Wow. That's like asking me which is my favorite child. We all know it's Sean, so. Um, <laughs> honestly, this one is just as good as the chocolate one. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm All right. Mm. Well, hold on. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to take a bite of this because I am about to eat lunch. In bite like it cautiously because it's a little hot. Right, let's see. That feels incredibly hot. It's, it's just the very inner. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's layery. Hot. Fluffy. Mm. Right? It has a really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. That was a raspberry preserve. That's delicious. Yeah. I hope you guys give it a try. Oh my god! It's a fun and mm -hmm. fancy dessert that takes like two what? seconds. What, you want this? Sean? Yeah. Okay. Sean, here's a bite. You want to try it? Yes, yes. <laughs> he said, yes. That was amazing. 
Oh, yeah, puff pastry can be kind of fattening. Yeah. Woke up at 1 a.m. and started watching TV instead of going back to sleep. Oh my goodness! Family says the new blue mailboxes, the UPS, USPS installed with narrower slots, was meant to deter people from fish hooking for checks oh. in their old mailboxes. Yeah. Can you stick a uh, piece of gum on a stick and get some mail out of the box? <laughs> I don't know. Shawnee, what do you think? Good. Yeah, good. You gonna have lunch in a minute? They should make the post office boxes like the ones in England that are like really tall so you can't like get in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is there a vegetable you hate? Uh, beets. <laughs> I don't remember what beets taste like. Like dirt. Oh, okay. But you love the beetroot powder. I do. Because like, you add an S ton of sugar to it. Yeah. But like beets. Bye. You know who loves beets? Granny. Wonder why. Because <laughs> they're bitter. Like her. <laughs> Jeez, they're like daggers. Anyway, um Hello to Corpus Christi, Texas. Oh. Aw, thank you so much. Hope you're having a good day and oh, staying safe. Beautiful. Wear your mask. Yes. Um, I don't think I've had grilled peanut butter and jelly, but that sounds incredible. Mmm. Yum. I feel like somebody did a YouTube video of that. Mm. Like they had some beautiful like artisan bread and they slathered that peanut butter and jelly on there and then grilled it. That sounds delicious. I know. Hot peanut butter? Sign me up. Mmm. Someone's licking my ankle. <gasps> Bowie! <laughs> Good boy. You little ankle licker. Oh, he's being so sweet right now. He's always a sweetheart. Uh, even when he's working? <laughs> it's because he's upset. We're he's excited. A sweet boy. We love sweet you. Oh, what a face. He's looking at us like, what do you got? He's a model puppy. Yeah. Not for you. It's chocolate. Sorry, You're going to get hurt. No chocolate for puppies. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, yeah, you gotta go back to work tomorrow. Ugh. Mm. Hope you're gonna wear your mask. Yeah. Parsnips? I feel like I like I love parsnips. parsnips. Like in soup or like a pot yeah. pie situation. A parsnip is like, um... Isn't it like a weird carrot, kind of? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Like a, it's like Minnie. a yellow carrot. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Minnie. Come on in. Parsnips? If you don't like them, try roasting them. Mm -hmm. Really brings out the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Lucy Curl, you gonna get some water? Yes. <laughs> oh, sugar, sugar on spaghetti. spaghetti. Louis says bitter like her. Damn, just <laughs> bury me now because I'm dead. Right? That was intense. Come on. Are you going to walk your dog after the live show? I hope you guys have a good walk. Oh, Mary Patricia's roasting beets in the oven right oh, now. Maybe if I had had roasted beets, they'd be better. But uh, the beets that gran like Granny likes, pickled beets. And I'm, not, I'm not there for that. Minnie said, I want one of those up Maybe there. Maybe half a Johnny's. Oh. Hashtag, you suck. No. I will definitely be enjoying the sunshine later. I'm gonna go in the pool after lunch, I think. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, collapse in my chair over there and. Uh, Hopefully, we're gonna watch Smash during uh, lunch, right? Yes. yes. Five, six, seven, eight. Touch the. No. Uh, oh man. Well, anyway, thank you all so much for yes. joining us today. I hope everybody is going to have a wonderful weekend. Mm -hmm. Wear your mask. Yes. I don't, I swim, but I'm not a big fan of the pool because we have an in-ground pool and it's very cold. It was warm now. Well, we'll see. And when I went in yesterday, I was like, ooh, this is like warmer. I feel bad about leaving Sean in the house alone. Yeah. And it's, it's pain in the 
mask. Sometimes I feel like it's more trouble than it's worth, so I don't usually go in very often. And usually when they're going in, it's the time for me to be cooking so that we can eat when, so we can eat before 10. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I but on a day like much. today, it'll be nice to go in a little bit earlier. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll stick my feet in. Maybe I'll, um, you know, stick my legs in. I don't know. Ooh. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, we're going to go because we're going to eat lunch and watch some Smash. So we hope you all have a good weekend. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And if you're watching this on the replay, hello. Hello. <laughs> and goodbye. <Yeah. laughs> Subscribe if you like what you see. Yep. We'll see Lots you next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Much love. Much love. Bye.